How's it going, everybody? So, the Ethereum mining has ended. Um, the switchover has occurred. And this morning, if you woke up, you probably realized if your miners were writing, writing Ethereum or something like nice hash quick miner, uh, they were no longer mining, um, unless you had already done some updates prior to this. But this is the message you'll probably receive. Uh, the merge will happen soon. I think my other computer even said something like um, Ethereum mining has ended. Um, so you can basically upgrade Quick Miner um, to the latest version. So that's what we're going to do here real quick in this video. Uh, so that we can continue mining. Update. Other cryptocurrencies. So nice hash updated Quick Miner to be able to mine um, Ravencoin and a couple others. Uh, let's see if do I have them pulled up here. Ravencoin, uh, I think it's called Auto Locus. Auto Locus, maybe? Not really quite sure how you would pronounce that. And then um, ETC uh, Cash, Ethereum Classic, basically. And that's what it's going to do here by default. So it's going to say it has been downloaded and updated. And so we'll go ahead and click OK. This will reload. And basically, we're back in Excavator, um, and it says right here, Dagger Hash Moto pay rate has declined due to the Ethereum move to proof of stake. You are now mining Ethereum Classic on the ETC Cash, or ETC Hash algorithm instead. You can select a different algorithm by right-clicking the Quick Miner Tray icon. So we're going to close that out. Um, we're already getting some lovely crashes of the mining, so that's great. Um, this is not one of my most stable rigs here, so it is what it is. Um, but yeah, you can right-click, whoops, you can right-click down here in the taskbar, and you can go to where it says is selected, and that actually cuts off for you. There we go. Is selected, and you can change the algorithm that is mining. So you can switch it over to, say, Kapow, which will be Ravencoin, and you'll see it switch over here, the algorithm. And now it is doing mining on the Kapow algorithm. So you can use a website called What to Mine to kind of figure out what is the most profitable. Um, it does not appear that Quick Miner automatically changes the algorithm based upon what's most profitable. If you're using regular Nice Hash Miner, which requires a little more configuration, it does. Um, but the Quick Miner does not seem to switch over. Um, one thing I'll mention here real quick before we look at this, um, when you switch these algorithms, um, if your cards have not been optimized yet um, for that algorithm, you'll need to go to the nice hash, uh, your, your nice hash website. And here's rig four. Um, you'll see it's not optimized. So you need to click the optimize button again and you know, probably switch it to light just to get things started, um, primarily so that these cards aren't running super hot because they will get very hot very quickly um, without any of the um, the uh, optimization set for the clock speeds. All right, so that's on Kapow. We'll let that run for a minute and see what happens. Okay, so back here to this website, um, whattomine.com. Let's just put in something like 6, 30, 60 TIs. And then we'll click Calculate. And down here, it will show us what is most profitable, um, which, hold on a second, did I put the wrong, no, oops, oh, come on, yeah, <laughs> uh, there we go. You have to click it so it's green next to the graphics card there okay so here we go so we can see the different algorithms um i you know etc cash uh, which is the one that's going to move you to by default is um, way down on the list <laughs> etc hash um 
So for 63060 TIs will be $2.68 and 67 cents in profit. Uh, so not great. <laughs> um, no, that's per day. Uh, so that's why I switched to this, you know, maybe to Kapow. Um, but Kapow, I believe, is more power heavy. Um, so maybe Auto Lycos. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> Never actually looked into how it's pronounced. Um, you can see here it's it's valued as less, um, but the profit is a little bit more. Um, and that should be because the power usage is slightly lower. So you can play around with it. So let's see now that um, let's see these two are doing uh, kapow. Uh, so we're currently um, let's see. Hold on, no, this is what I'm logged into here. <laughs> Well, this is only reporting six cents. Yeah, so pretty low numbers for sure. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch this to a different algorithm here. And then I'm going to actually jump over to this rig as well. This is mining rig one. Um, this is currently on Kapow. This is four. 3060 TIs, it's currently getting 64 cents. Make a quick little note. See, the thing is too, with all the miners switching over to these different coins, um, I imagine some of these numbers are gonna change, meaning what the mine is showing a higher number than what's here, um, because there's so many people um, jumping into these, these coins. Now it's up to 70 cents. Um, so I'm going to see. I don't know if I'm, I'm just doing this uh, right now. The rig one excuse me, is uh, currently using 487 watt. At least according to nice hash. I'm curious if I switch it to auto like this. Make sure put my light optimization on. I'm not going to do anything more than light on these new coins. I don't even know if there's an option for it yet. I'm going to try to keep things as stable as possible. So. Let's see what this does. Wait for it to update here on the screen. Oh, there it goes. And then optimize light. Expand it out. So this is the um, <laughs> the new world of crypto mining. Um, you know, Ethereum mining has ended. Mining is over um, with that, and it, the reason it was so profitable because it was the value of Ethereum. So people are willing to pay more from the mining of it. Something a nice hash where you're contracting out your um, hash rate to um, people who are purchasing it um, there's a lower amount that people are willing to purchase when the coin is worth less um, if you I, I like nice hash just because it's it's straightforward to me i can run it on a windows machine obviously you're not mining these coins directly in this case okay um but We'll see what our profits look like. Um, and I think it's great that nice hash, you know, made a avenue for this for their quick miner, you know, basically a quick little update and keep you going so you don't have to have any downtime uh, with your mining. Um, so yes, it looks no the I mean the power usage came down like ten watts. <laughs> so I don't know. It's hard to say how much those uh, what the mine numbers are true like how accurate they are. Personally, I like um, the, the Kapow algorithm, which is the Raven coin. Um, why? I couldn't give you a ton of reasons. I've actually bought some Raven coin directly. Um, so I guess that opinion comes with a, a bias um, that I would like to see Raven coin be a coin that now jumps up and succeeds. Um, so this is what I'm going to be doing. It's just kind of mining, um, you know, kind of seeing which one of these coins uh, provides the most um, profitability. 
um, versus the power usage. Now the efficiency is, is really good with, um, well, I guess that's because this, yeah, that, the efficiency doesn't really matter as far as it comes to the efficiency of the dollar. It comes to the efficiency of the hash rate versus power usage. This algorithm has a higher hash rate, so of course it's going to have, it's going to appear to have a higher efficiency. So you can't compare apples to apples when they're on different algorithms there. So this is coming in, this is just about the same as um, Ravencoin Kapow right now. Not a huge, um, not a huge difference there. So that's it. The upgrade is pretty straightforward. You just click the upgrade and then um, change it to whatever algorithm you want. Um, my recommendation would be not to leave it on ETC Cash, but keep an eye on it. Because if ETC Cash goes up, uh, maybe it'll become worth more. So it's probably something, obviously this isn't going to dynamically switch to what's most profitable, unfortunately. Um, it doesn't look like their quick miner tool does that. For now, I'm going to switch this back over to Kapow. That seemed to be a little bit more profitable. Let these run out. I'm sure I'll post another video um, as I uh, figure more of this out, if I find any things that are more profitable. But like I said, good thing is simple upgrade, switch over, and... Um, yeah, keep on mining cryptocurrency with your GPUs. Uh, at least there's still some profit there. We'll see. We'll end up seeing what the daily total is um, for me. We're probably going to be um, not much. <laughs> probably like four or five dollars a day right now. We'll see. We'll see how things pan out as time goes on. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Um, like I said, more of this me talking here. It's a pretty simple upgrade. Um, I'd appreciate if you made it this far and watched it all the way through. Um, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.